Hello everybody and welcome to what is the end of the Kingdom of Portugal campaign for the South American mod Total War for Rome Total War. I'm ending this because every time now, I have done this three times thinking maybe it was a fluke, but by three times now, every time I click the end turn button, I always get a crashed desktop from either whenever the French Empire turn is about to come in or whenever the assembly of Cadiz aka Spain's turn is about to come in so I am completely unable to actually progress in the campaign I'm actually going to toggle the fog of war because I'm going to show you guys the state of the map currently we obviously have Brazil and we could if we let me just complete let me just our complete our conquest over over here because it doesn't really matter anymore I'm going to take it let me actually toggle it back again to show you guys the massive amount of land we actually gained this started to look like proper Brazil right now we are unable to take this um every time I did the crash so right from the get-go this province here is completely nullified and every time the assembly of Cadiz aka proper Spain and now Spain and Lisbon I guess Lisbon and Portugal actually goes a bit more south than that but that's okay um, every time they started I don't know what's happening in the scripts but every time they started their turn or whenever the French which have absolutely nothing as of now the, whenever their turn comes in there the game crashes we can also actually take this province just while we're at it just why the hell not just to complete a little bit more of the map and that is lovely that is actually quite lovely to see a good chunk of the south actually being under our control I actually had a lot of fun with this mod but I have a few complaints that I actually want to address first things first for example uh, the faction I was playing as the King of Portugal and Brazil they are balanced I feel that they are balanced I earn quite a lot of money yes uh, okay I earn quite a lot of money so I am able to just keep on getting more and more and more stacked up upon me I have a big amount of land to cover but that's quite okay because I also have a lot of coast and coast means uh, even more money and means that I can get ships and I actually have quite a lot of ships. I'm actually using the ships to transport troops back and forth from my provinces because it is the easiest way to actually traverse the, the South America. Now another thing that I want to address, the scale of the map is fine, I feel that traversing from one side of Brazil to another is fine, it's supposed to take a hell of a long time. What I don't appreciate however, is for example, if we go to Paysandu, they they have this, the, so, the social and political breakdown of the provinces. This is a major downside for me. I get it that it's supposed to be for balance sake and you shouldn't be able to just take a settlement and just go from one to the other right immediately. But I feel it's much too punishing. Mo almost half of the social and political breakdown of the region is European monarchists, 45%. And yet, the province is completely annoyed with me. Yes, no governments, whatever, but always 40% unrest because the, the patriots, indigenous people and the royalists are causing an uproar with me. And plus, there's a culture penalty because it takes so long to convert. I don't even know if there is a proper conversion system other than this but in my opinion it should be only two either you are a royalist there we go either a royalist or a patriot I feel that that should be enough because the, the basis of the mob is basically for example here which is what I consider the major faction the, um, the United States of Venezuela they are patriots. They want their independence from the vice royalties and the Kingdom of Brazil. Over here we have Nueva Granada, which means they are a vice royalty. They are royalists. They are fighting to maintain 
the control of the king of Spain on the colonies. These guys, they want the king of Spain out of the colonies. It should be that counterbalancing. We, for example, we have a king. We have brought the king from Portugal. He left Portugal because of Napoleon. We, we brought the king here to keep him safe. So we should also be royalists. The lads down south, these lads, they are royalists as well. But these lads here, they are patriots. So whenever we take any of these provinces, they will always hate us and they will take a huge amount of time. I, I mean, for example, this province over here, Nossa Senhora de Babotete, it took me a year to pacify it and I still need to keep a full-fledged garrison here. I, I mean, I could use these units and this one somewhere else. And, but no, I need to keep them here to maintain the public order when, for example, one of ours, I just need one unit. One unit in every province with low taxes and I, I can have a good, solid and healthy economy and I can keep on pushing with my armies. But this, these lads over here, they were indigenous. They are still royalists because they are being converted by the neighboring regions. Even though ours should be stronger, we have more provinces surrounding them than they have of ours. So that's why the royalists are still annoying, even though we also have a king. The lands over here, they are... I'm guessing the a vice royalty of Paraguay. I'm guessing that's it, because they are also royalists. But we are also we also have a royal on the throne. That 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 for me breaks the mod. That's the main thing that actually breaks the mod, other than it being a bit unstable when it comes to both the French and the Spanish. That's another thing. Uh, in my opinion ditch the whole aspect of Europe. Just ignore Europe. It's not the main focus. Even Africa, it's not the main focus. Completely remove them from from the map. We don't really care. Haiti, yes, you can keep them because they also had their own revolution, so that is to be... That, that, that's okay. And you can all... I don't know, you can keep the French as the owners of these islands and the Spanish over here, but... In my opinion, get rid of the Spanish completely, have only the vice royalties and whatnot, and the French you can give them uh, the islands that they actually control to actually govern and rule, and that way the, the Haitian revolutionaries can actually fight them. That will be interesting, because Haiti, they, they take out the French army that is here, and then what else? What else is the idea? They, they take f so long to actually, uh, to actually improve their settlement. I mean, it's their capital, yes, but I'm guessing with only the six buildings that they have, it's still only a, um, a, a large town. Not, it's not even a small city or a large city or a huge city. It's a small town, so they are unable to actually build ships, for example. So they are stuck here. If I was controlling them, obviously I would put them on low and have them build up and make the right choices to actually progress. But the AI does not do that. And that's quite a shame. In my opinion, get rid of the imperialists, the European monarchists, the and the indigenous things just have it be either royalists or patriots on on the settlement tab over here the on the social and political political breakthrough and that should and that will be good and other than that ditch all of europe it's not necessary it's redundant we don't need major major european powers in South America. They did nothing in the 1810s. So, we, the main focus should be the fight between the vice royalties and the patriots, as I have stated. For example, Mexico over here, they start, at, in my opinion, is the worst army that you can have. But the AI, because they are, they are only fighting the royalist army of New Spain, the vice royalty army of New Spain, they have a clear objective. Just make a death stack and attack them. What can they do? 
you have more men. You have cheaper men as well. They ha their units are much more expensive. They have, they have a lot more ground to cover. So that looks fine. But having this here, I find it completely redundant. I find it completely idiotic to have it. That's point number one. Point number two, the social and political breakthrough needs to be completely remade to only have the royalists and the patriots. Patriots, For example, Port the Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil, royalists. Obviously, we have a king and we want to support our king. It's, we, it's still a couple of decades before Brazil declares independence from the Kingdom of Portugal. So, yes, royalists. And have that be the main focus. Europe is just redundant. The Another thing, uh, it's not a complaint. I actually, uh, I don't mind because I understand it. And you also have, oh, it provides this. Okay, okay, what does this do? Enables training of Regiment of Infantry from Brugenza. Fusiliers, it can, even if you are, you only speak English, for example, you can understand that, okay. Uh, maybe Regiment, Infantry, Braganza, it's a province in Portugal, Fusiliers, okay, what do they have? A fleet lock, they have 2 in charge bonus, 2 in 4 missile attack, 7 in melee attack, and a total defense of 12. Ability set class, his banner, inspired near, near, in, his banner inspires nearby troops, bonus fighting cavalry, good morale, and strong in the face of adversity. Description. Reach and munition, yes, it's in Spanish, 60 meters and 18 shots, and this is in Spanish. That's okay, because it is just the description. It doesn't really affect the rest of the campaign as a whole. Yeah. The main thing is just that. Have it be either royal or patriot. Ignore the rest of them, because they are redundant. And... Remove Europe. That That's it. That's just... The main focus. Love this mod. It has been completely incredible. I really, really liked playing it. But uh, yeah, the those things actually broke it for me. I really like the map. The map is another thing that I absolutely adore. Having the rivers up over here that you can actually go through to to attack other provinces and whatnot. That is absolutely bang on. That is perfect. And also, for example, Candelaria. You have the rivers here, the forests here. You cannot go there willy-nilly. You, you actually need to use a ship and go there. That's incredible. For example, here, there's only one way to traverse this river. So just have a fort here and they are unable to actually do anything. Over here, it's the Amazon forest. What are you supposed to do? You need to actually go through the paths that are already in place. So plonk a fort over there. They are unable to go past us and the one towers to just keep control of the region. Other than that, uh, everything is... Uh, for example, having that... Yeah, having that be for, from, for France, that is cool. But it should be a little bit more developed so that they can actually build troops. Because otherwise I cannot even attack it and I always crash. Because they have nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. And they are revolting. They should not even be... They should not even be in the game. They should be revolting. That province should not even be in the game. So, let us, to sum it up, let us go through the to things. I find that the balancing of the factions is actually spot on. Bigger factions like the Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil, they obviously earn a lot of money. We have gold mines and we can actually sustain a bigger army. But smaller factions like these, uh, of course they're not going to be able to field as big of an army and they're going to struggle a lot more but that's the fun part of the challenge plus the terrain makes it a lot better for for finding a balance in 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 fighting between the rebels and the vice royalty that's another thing the map i absolutely love it yes it is massive brazil is massive as it should be it is a massive kingdom and obviously going down the Amazon, it should take forever. And having the fight in the, in the mountains is amazing. And having, for example, here, you cannot traverse these. You either go north or go south. And that's exactly what they did. 
who are these? Are they rebels or something? The Republic of Chile, yes, they are rebels, so they took out the vice royalty and they are now left on the island. But again, because the AI is a bit dumb, they have not built a single a single dock. I know they can build docks. They have not done so. And, and because of that, they are unable to completely kill off the this faction, which is a shame. Other than that, well, I like the roster of the units, I like the the balancing of the factions, I really love the map. Cons, it should only be Europe and you have to, uh, to balance out the social and political breakthrough of the game. Have it only be royalty, uh, have it only be, yes, royalty or patriots should be way more balanced for example for me i'm how long have i taken all of these provinces they have all rebelled they are all rebelling all the time and the worst part is they are always going to be converted they have indigenous being converted because now there's an indigenous <laughs> city right on the border so of course they're going to be converted by that so that is a shame. But this one, for example, it borders a royal a royal city. So it's been converted to that. It's been converted to the indigenous uh, social and political thingy. Because it has a city bordering it. And it's also been converted to mine. Because I have two provinces that are mine that are bordering it. This one, for example, no one is being converted except for mine. So this one, San Francisco de Borja should be converted to my own uh, social and political uh, thing sooner than the other ones but that i find that to be it takes way too long yes the the game actually has a 12 turn 12 turn per per year but it, it just takes forever also it needs to be polished a little bit more and removing both the french and the Spanish, well, mostly just the Spanish. You can keep the French over here and having on them on their colonies, that's okay. But the Spanish in Europe and Africa, get rid of it. Not necessary, doesn't add to the fun, it's redundant. So just have them with that. And what is this? Oh, they still have, they still have units here. I don't know what they're doing, but whatever. So yeah, those are my, uh, those are my things. I love the mod, I give it the positive ranking because the the factions are balanced i feel they are balanced the units of, of all the factions are balanced and they reflect what happened in their time the mod developer they went to the trouble of actually naming and creating different generals for the different factions and they all have different portraits and different generals bodyguards that is amazing the map is amazing absolutely adore it and I believe that is it for the for the plus for the minus side of the mod. Uh, Europe and Africa needs to go. Spain doesn't need to exist, and it needs to be polished a little bit more, just so it doesn't crash as often. I have what I believe to be about seven or eight crashes in the duration of this entire let's play. Uh, one was in the Battle of Montevideo, where it crashed the first time I actually did the siege. It crashed three times on this end turn sequence, whenever it got to the Spanish or the French. And it crashed, well, because I was testing about, what, f three, four times whenever I tried to take Cayenne with different forms and different troops, I always crashed. So, yeah, that needs to be addressed, otherwise the mod is absolutely gorgeous and it is amazing. Obviously it has some Spanish in it, uh, for example, Herria and Escuela de, Primera, de Primeras Letras, obviously that's Spanish, but you don't even need to read that, you just need provides public order due to law, 5%, marvelous. Plaza del Mercado, okay, provides trade effect and manpower gain effect. It's actually pretty damn good. It, I don't mind it being in Spanish in some aspects because they actually offer a translation in the mod db, DB page that they have. So if you guys are interested 
go and see the South American mod Total War in the mod DB page because that's where I download it. I don't know if it's available anywhere else, but I give it a positive ranking other than the crashes and whatever and what else I have already stated in this video. And if you guys have any suggestions as to what I am to do next, what mod I should play, what faction I should play, please do feel free to comment on the comment section down below for you for for me to know what you guys want me to play. Now I'm going to end this series here because well I cannot I literally cannot continue past this point otherwise the game keeps on crashing. I tried three times already. I don't believe it will correct itself any in any way, shape or form. I played two years, it has been good, I have unified basically all of Brazil under my banner and I'm happy with that. So I thank you to everyone who has watched all the episodes and has stayed tuned to this next series, I don't know, something cool I guess. You'll have to stay tuned for that so remember to subscribe, click the like button and I see you guys on the next series which hopefully will be soon. Goodbye!